this is to me the the great next question. Yeah. All of this stuff happened hundreds of years ago. We are dealing now with our own convulsions. And the question is, was Milton right in the end? Does, does our tradition of letting people speak freely lead us in the end to chaos and dissol- dissolution? Or will the truth at last win out? Now, I, my answer is qualifiedly, the truth will win out. So, so here's the thing, right? The reason Milton can argue so ferociously for freedom of speech is because he believes that the truth will win out in a culture that believes in truth. He's surrounded basically by Christians who are arguing within themselves about, amongst themselves, about how to find God's truth. And they all agree that, you know, atheism is wrong, but they're here to kind of get together and find and find some absolute truth. Now, our version of that won't look exactly the same, but, but the key thing that we have to remember here is like we, freedom of speech, you actually can't have it unless you agree that there is truth that you're trying to get to. That's the first thing that we have to recover because our opponents here in this, the, the people who want to cancel everybody, they think that speech is just power, right? They think that speech doesn't there is no absolute truth and so in order they, what they have to do is get the power and silence your speech and win we believe that speech is powerful but that it's for something that we're we're using it to seek out truth and that's what the key one of the key things that i draw here from milton that i think we have sometimes forgotten is that that's the whole context of his argument is that we're he's looking here not just for kind of everybody to be chattering away, but for out of the chattering there to emerge some vision of of a way forward and a truth.